We have ignition and liftoff of the first United Launch Alliance Vulcan rocket, launching a new era in spaceflight to the moon and beyond. IRIS is a planetary rover designed to survey the moon, and we're doing it as the first students and university and non-government agency ever. Today is January 8, 2024. What happened was something that we've been looking forward to for a very, very long time. IRIS finally launched to the moon. We were all there, right, for launch, all excited. Woke up at 9.55 to everything being perfect. Four minutes later, Astrobotic posts on Twitter an update, and I'm like, uh-oh. Iris' tends to be about five Celsius above. Even more. Well, we in, in, in TDAC with the lander. Okay, we're not gonna land. What can we do? We have been in mission mode since about 4 a.m. We have been sending commands. Something that we've been trying to simulate during training leading up to the mission is how is the team going to react to like critical mission scenarios? And I think this is a critical mission scenario. The way the team came together and were able to come up with a new mission on the fly. The fact that we've had people from all over the university, from all over the world, contribute fundamentally to this rover mission. Some people are joining. They just got to see it new. They're, they're freshmen this year. We've had people from the drama department doing software and doing excellent jobs. Some of our physics sims were, <laughs> were done by art students to perfection. Oh my god, I think oh, it worked. Okay. We didn't land on the moon to deploy on the lunar surface, but we got there. We got to lunar distance and back. The rover functioned as well as it did. We spun motors in space. I am just incredibly proud of what the team was able to accomplish. I am nothing but excited and ready to see all of us push the boundaries of what's next in space.